<laughs> Yo, what's up, baby? It's 40 from Can't Stop Art. So, I think we have everything set up. Um, yeah, this is uh, quite a challenge, figuring out the live streaming to go. Right now, we're going to Facebook, we're going to Instagram, and we're going to YouTube. The preferred place to watch this video for sure is YouTube, just because it's going to go in clean, it's going to go in legit, right? The HD, the proper uh, aspect ratio, bada bing, bada boom. So anyways, with these live videos, what I want to do is uh, paint. Maybe talk about some things, maybe try different uh, supplies, for example. Let me switch over to the other camera. And here, if you look at the other cam, you see some of the supplies I have set up. I have the paper towels down because it's in the way of the other camera. I also have some watercolor pencils here. When I bought these, it came with like the daddy, the granddaddy of watercolor pencils, right? Which is pretty cool. Uh, too bad they're not all that size. Probably they make it like that, it's just way more expensive, huh? This is a small set of uh, pastels, watercolor uh, pastels from Windsor Newton, a good beginner set. I'm a beginner, I actually have never painted watercolor before, so I bought all this stuff and I said, hey, in fact, let's switch to the next cam, right? I said, hey, I'm gonna teach myself how to paint in watercolor, huh? So uh, yeah, we have a palette here, right? I, actually, I don't have to show this camera because right now we're on the, the dual cam situation, right? Am I? Yeah, I am. <laughs> so th there's going to be some learning uh, uh, going on here. I've got a compass. Maybe if we need to draw a circle. I don't even know yet what we're going to do. But we're going to learn together. You know, <laughs> If you already know how to paint watercolor, then this video is not going to be for you. But I don't. So, of course, you know, when I do it, I do it right. <laughs> I've got the watercolor pencils, watercolor pastels, a watercolor block, which is basically a pad, like a, a bunch of different pieces of paper that you can then rip out of here. And they're stuck in here quite good. So we'll figure that out in a second. I've got uh, some gouache here. And uh, gouache is good to outline things, etc. It's a cross between acrylic and watercolor. Uh, so if you really want white whites, the white in the watercolor pastel just is not going to do it, right? Uh, I've got liquid mask here, right? So I'll actually I'll hold this up to this camera. Liquid mask, or, or this one, is uh, if you want to preserve an area you can paint that on after you paint with water see i i actually understand some of this because i've watched a few videos tried to get a feel for maybe what i'll do what i won't do etc i got three different colors of uh this is uh, water liquid watercolor right here it's dr ph martin's hydrus line of liquid watercolor i have yellow uh, hansa yellow medium i've got ultramarine and i've got permanent red with yellow blue and red the primary colors you can make a lot of colors so i figured just start there not like these things are cheap right <laughs> these things are like eight euros each or something like that then i have a another line from dr ph martin's this is uh, watercolor ink but it's not pigment based this is dye based, so these will look a little bit different than the other ones. I wanted to try them, plus the colors are different, right? This is moss rose, daffodil yellow, and turquoise blue. So it's not exactly totally primary, but it's pretty close. And anyway, we have, and of course, you're not thinking, remember everything. Lights, cameras, microphone, make sure the logo, make sure your switcher works, make sure you have everything you need. And I didn't put any water in these, right? Although my assistant's here, maybe she can help me at one point to put some water in the color, uh, water in one of these. But uh, these are, uh, uh, come on brain, these are watercolor brushes, right? So actually I think I did put, oh, I have water in one of them. My bad, I don't need it. Thank you, we're good. So uh, yeah, so basically what you do is you load up some water in here and as you paint, the water flows through the tip of the brush, you can pick up here and yeah, it looks like we got a delivery. <laughs> of course, right? all day nothing and then delivery. Over here, I've got a palette, I've got some tape and that is just so I could tape this to there, make it easy. I've got some brushes here, normal brushes. 
And so, yeah, why don't we, why don't we get started, right? So, I don't know, what are we going to paint? <laughs> I should have a reference. Uh, I'm looking around, what am I going to paint? And what's going on with this? Is there a trick? And I love this. I'm going to make these videos. Some of you are going to watch and you're going to know more than I do about watercolor. And that's awesome. Maybe you're going to give me some tips in the comments. Like, why don't you try this? Or why don't you stick to acrylics? <laughs> Anyway, you know, I don't just use acrylics. I'm handy with spray. I could draw, you know, uh, I'm not very good with oil yet, but hey, maybe that's in the future, right? So we're gonna take this, we're gonna drop it over here, bada bing, bada boom, and we're gonna tape it on here. You know, there's a hole right here, but it's all good, right? Anyways, how you guys doing? Sorry for the hiatus, huh? Like I took some time away from uh, the social media, whatever. And I do that every once in a while to recharge the creative juices. And, you know, if I did this exactly even right here, I could have this nice border if I painted the edges. But I don't think I'm trying to do like an exact painting or, or something. So let's not worry about that. But I'm going to go here, tape this down, come over here. And I'm also going to add some more elements to the switcher, you know, like uh, I've got some other live shows going right now. And uh, actually, I'm just this is my thing now, you know, since uh, business has been extremely slow. I thought, you know what, I'm going to get on the live streaming thing and just go crazy with it because I have skills in audio video. That's what I used to do. I was a professor of uh, audio and video production. Right. And I taught this at a high level, uh, not the beginner route. And uh, yeah, I enjoy it. In fact, my main YouTube channel, uh, 40 TV, F O R D E E TV is about teaching advanced audio and video topics. However, I put all kinds of stuff in there. It probably irritates my audio and video uh, followers. They're like, yo, stick to tutorials. That's what you're good at. <laughs> hey, in fact, I started a live streaming series where I smoke weed and talk about food. <laughs> Anyways, you know, whatever works, right? Keep that brain going. Keep your, your skills up to par. So, okay, what are we going to do? I, I guess I'm going to like lightly draw something, right? And I think it really actually matters um, what uh, pencil you have. And I actually have different varieties of graphite. So I should be using like, I think a 3B or 4B. Is that right? Uh, I think that would be a softer than, than this. Uh, maybe it won't show up after I paint because when you put the water with the uh, charcoal, it could, anyway. So what are we going to draw, right? Oof. Now I'm gonna go off memory. I don't have here, but I think like one of those pots, right? Uh, from Super Mario, maybe we do that. We draw like the pot right here and we're not looking to be exactly perfect, right? And for those also who you know me personally, I uh, have gotten into gardening, right? I uh, like I can grow. I'm growing habaneros, cayenne peppers. Like I'm just going crazy with it and having a lot of fun, having some success. Although recently some caterpillars have been eating my basil, I'm definitely not happy about that. You know what I mean? And uh, it's not like I have anything particular against caterpillars, but don't eat my basil, right? Because that's for my pizzas, my pastas, and my whatever else, right? <laughs> Get your own! Anyways, so this is just like a pot, right? And I don't know, I guess this is not exactly Super Mario-ish. Uh, and then, of course, I don't own any rights to that word, and we're not recreating their artwork. But, and I think I made the pot too big, but that's okay. We're going to make this little uh, flower here. <laughs> and actually we're gonna have to make it quite little right because we have to make the petals and so let's make the petals like this and I don't know how many are gonna go six or six or did I totally do it wrong there's gonna be more so that's four five six right and look at this I really I need a, an eraser maybe if my assistant can come over here and grab an eraser for me I don't know if she's gonna find it behind those paintings right there on the bottom shelf. There might be an eraser in the middle. Okay, so we've got this. And in fact, I think we should move this down. Hopefully she finds an eraser. I'm gonna bring this same lid right here. I'm gonna bring it down, huh? And we'll get rid of that with an eraser, hopefully. And then that way what we can do is we can give this thing like a little, a stock. Right? Or main branch, if you will, right? So it comes down. In fact, we even have like a leaf coming here, right? And it's in the pot, meaning that the soil is into the top line. It's not totally realistic. 
whatever. We're learning to, I didn't even think of what I was going to paint. I just wanted to start this because I've been meaning to and every day there's a new excuse or I'm like, screw it, I'm going fishing. Because <laughs> I love spear fishing, by the way. So I'm going to get up and look real quick for this eraser because it is probably hidden right in front of her eyes. There we go. We found it. The thing is, my mess is my mess. It's easy for me to find stuff. <laughs> oh, but is it easy for other people? So let's take this eraser. And you know what I also forgot to do? And so these, these videos are just going to get better, right? Because each time I'll be like, oh, I forgot this. Oh, and I will fix it for the next time. So I forgot to set up a timer just so I could keep an eye on how long these episodes are. Granted, this is art. It's not like you know, it's going to take time, you know, certain things have to dry. Plus, oh, I didn't bring my heat gun here for drawing purposes. Um, where's my exact line? <laughs> so there's, yeah, there's some, there's definitely going to be improvement in each episode. So, so look forward to that. We are definitely going to get rid of some of this stuff and let's get rid. And actually I'm going to go over most of these lines because I can still see it, right? Maybe as I erase this, you are not going to see it as well. But you saw the gist of the design. Well, as I get rid of it, now I can then come in here and then paint, right? There we go. Giving the vacuum cleaner stuff to pick up later. That's awesome. Job security for the vacuum cleaner. <laughs> there we go. Definitely this, uh, this pencil is too dark huh? for doing doing some preliminary designs huh Oof. all right so here we are right so in watercolor from what I understand there's different types of techniques right you could take a brush and we have two things of water here right uh, let's double check you can see right so this is a bigger anyways you it doesn't matter necessarily the size but one of these is going to be able to for cleaning our brush and the other one is loading it with water right you want to make sure that when you clean the brush, you clean in the same one. And the other one is just to add water to your brush, right? So why don't we do this? Um, I'm going to take, let's start with this liquid stuff. In fact, the dye based stuff, because I heard it's super bright, it's super sexy, and you really only need like a one drop, maybe even two, right? But I'm just going to put one drop. Let's see. This is experimenting, right? We don't know. And then let's take the yellow because yellow and blue make what? It makes green. <laughs> so who said learning isn't fun, right? I don't know. For people who don't like to learn, it's crazy to me because I'm always reading something new. I'm always trying to teach myself some new trick. <laughs> like old dogs don't learn new tricks is bullshit because I've been learning my whole life and I don't plan to quit, huh? So we just have single drops in there, right? We, uh, right now, I, I'm gonna designate the big one to clean the brush, the small one to load the brush. So let's load the brush. And when we do that, we're gonna put some water and uh, then we're gonna dab it on the side. And now it has water in it, but it's not dripping water, right? So we're gonna come over here and let's take the blue. Let's come back, grab some water. So look at this, oh, just that little drop. And what we're going to do here is we are going to I think what we're going to do is just paint like some blue and you're saying, Hey, wait a second. What's going on? I don't know exactly how the layering is going to work uh, later, but uh, yeah, let's, let's paint it and see as we go on, huh? because I, obviously I want this stuff to dry and then I'll paint over. I don't know how that works though. And so, like I said, I'm going to make mistakes and uh, this is uh, dry on wet, right? So we can add uh, water to our brush and move this uh, dye around, right? But I think the way the dye acts and the pigment-based stuff acts, it acts different. So here, come up here, add a little bit of more water. Because I don't know if you reactivate dye the same way you reactivate pigment, right? And so notice I, I taped this down, but that also is gonna keep the paper flat, shouldn't buckle as much, plus it's watercolor paper. So, knock on wood, it shouldn't. So I'm gonna clean the brush here. And again, maybe maybe this painting is going to come out junk. I didn't test this. I didn't even know what we were going to paint. So let's see. Huh? So uh, we come here, we grab some water, and we come here. Cool. 
put it back here. I think I put our, this is already blue in here, right? It shouldn't be. But anyways, we're gonna come back in here and now when we paint the yellow on top of the blue, it becomes a little bit green, huh? And all I'm doing is we're working on a background actually and probably what you have to do with uh, watercolor, and again, like I said, I don't know, is that I shouldn't be treating this like acrylic. In acrylic, I can paint over this, no problem, right? Another thing is I can come over, which one here? Here, grab some water and boom, bring it in here. There we go, something like that. I don't know. Let's make some dots uh, in different places. Something like this. There we go. Ah, you can even use paper towel to pick up that excess water and maybe even put some of this yellow inside here like this. Boom, 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 boom. There's a song, right? Boom, 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 boom. Anyways, <laughs> we should be playing some music too, right? Anyway, normally I would, but you know, they hit you with the copyright all the time when you put these videos up and yeah, so. Here we go, maybe something like this, right? Next step, what are we gonna do for the petals? I think, I think it would be a good idea to have the heat gun, you know? But it's not just grabbing it, then I have to plug it in. I think I have too much shit plugged in. <laughs> Anyways, for sure we are gonna use, uh, well, let's mix this, the pigment based and the dye based and see what happens, we don't know. Like I said, you only need like a drop, huh? We've only put one drop of each. You think that this eight, uh, eight euro thing of watercolor paint is expensive, but it's gonna last for a long time, it seems, huh? I think one of these is cheaper. It might be the pigment-based stuff. Granted, it's a, it seems like it's a little bit smaller also. And maybe uh, it, one drop doesn't get you as far, I don't know. Granted, these are also two different color reds. We're learning, guys, together together as one. You know what I should have and I just thought, and okay, I will order, is black gouache paint, right? Although I guess you could use acrylic at the end or you could use a Posca marker or an acrylic marker, etc. right? So I'm gonna put this uh, brush in the water there. We are then gonna come, well, let's take this brush and the only purpose of this brush is to wet the paper, huh? And again, I think that probably I shouldn't have painted all these colors uh, here with plants to go over it because that's not how watercolor works. But like I said, we're learning together. And maybe right now I just painted way too much because it's gonna dry before I get to it. But let's come here. Let's take some of this and here. And here. All right. So, and let's, well, let's, Let's do something like this. And again, I don't know exactly. There wasn't a whole lots of plans. Look at how the colors change. Maybe this is gonna be really pretty. Maybe it's gonna suck. I don't know. But the next one will be better and the next one will be better. And before you know it, we will say that we can paint watercolor. Whether we'll be telling the truth or not is entirely different. Ah, my sense of humor, huh? Not for everybody, but it's amazing. So, you know what would be good is a pipette, and I have those. Let's see. I wonder if I can get away with not using it right now, and we'll come, we use it next time, or do I have to get up and get it? Because what we want to do right now is we want to take this water, right? And I want to put it here, which you see it's a little bit blue. And the, the reason I'm doing that is because I wanted to not just have the pigment there, right? I wanna have some water in there. So let's see, if I go, if I bring this in here, it's letting these colors mix in a bit. There we go. Something like this. And again, we're not exactly sure of many things right now, so we're learning as we go. The thing I do know is when you put water, uh, like you wet the paper and then you add a wet brush, 
then it allows the ink to spread apart in magical ways, right? And that's one of the cool things watercolor can do that other types of, um, of tint or paint uh, doesn't do. It doesn't act that way. So you might be looking at this saying, whoa, this looks pretty horrible. Well, you know, I'm not disagreeing. <laughs> but anyway, we don't know. Let's see where this goes, right? And I think uh, and if, if, if today ends up as a, a flop, I don't know if flop is the right word, but if today is not the top day of our <laughs> day one learning a wallet thought, I think it's okay, you know? I don't beat myself up over silly things like that, and neither should you. If you're learning to paint, no matter what the medium, huh, don't give up. Painting doesn't happen overnight. I didn't learn how to paint with acrylic like in one day. I didn't. How many paintings have I done? I don't know, thousands, you know? How many drawings have I done? I, I couldn't even count, you know? So if you are comparing yourself to someone that you think is good um, in whatever discipline, you know, how many baskets did uh, Michael Jordan shoot before he was who he was, you know? These are all some things to think about. We are gonna have to get up, you know? I'm gonna get the pipette. I'm gonna get a couple Posca markers for outlining. And yeah, give me a moment. is like an art store. <laughs> I have all kinds of stuff. I have to, I know where it is. Not everyone else does. These are pipettes. You can use these to take the water, drip it in here. That's a good idea, right? So here we've got this brush we're going to drop in there. Why don't we switch to a, a green, huh? So why don't we do this? We'll take this. Take another paper towel. My thought is maybe to make the the pot green with some brown, right? So, what we're going to do, we're gonna pick up a little bit of water here and let's take this green right here. And let's come here. Uh, come there, boom. I don't know if I'm supposed to load it here or here, right? Is that what's supposed to happen? Maybe, right? Maybe I'm not doing this right. Come here. I come, I pick up this pastel, because it's like it doesn't pick up a lot, but maybe it's not supposed to, right? So I'm gonna come here. And we're gonna come up. I guess we're making like, I don't know what that would be considered. <laughs> ah, let's take some more of this green and uh, again we're just gonna sh come here in the something like this right and maybe in the top rim there we go we're gonna darken that up in there the green the leaves for sure we need to make green so I'm gonna come here come back there we're going to make these leaves definitely green. And then we, we're going to wait and we're going to add, or maybe we don't wait. I don't know. I, this is experiment, right? So what do we, what do we mean? Wait, wait for what? <laughs> ah, this, the stem should be this green too, right? But let's grab, is this a darker green? My eyes, huh? I'm going to be, uh, my birthday's coming up actually, uh, this weekend. And uh, I'll be 44, yo. <laughs> I mean, uh, I never, my age never bothered me, I suppose, because I don't really act my age. <laughs> but uh, as I get older, uh, well, not even as I get older, just it seems like just this year, it, it started, I've started to notice that, um, like, I'm thinking about my age. Maybe it's because your eyesight changes a little bit. You injure yourself in your sleep. It's just ridiculous, huh? And, no, you know, of course, people prepare. Your parents tell you, like, yo, when you're older, this is going to happen. And you're like, yeah, right. Not to me, right? <laughs> Surprise. So let's let's come in here. Again, I don't... I'm trying different things here because I don't know what... Uh, because now this is even wet. So I'm just putting, like, little 
dots, it's moving around because it's wet inside. Cool, and maybe over right here. And uh, I'm gonna just drop some stuff in here. Maybe we'll come back with uh, some yellow, like after it dries more, but we need it to be more pigmented. So maybe we'll take this yellow, or maybe we'll take the gouache. I don't know, right? When we start to outline this, so if we take a green with a, some red, right? Why don't we move this pipette? We can make uh, these two are complementary colors, right? So we can make a brown of sorts with this. We want it to be a bit lighter. Let's see if we pick some of this up or even this. There we go. Maybe even this green. Now it looks purplish, huh? Or blackish. I want it less this color. How can we save you? I think with yellow, but let's try like this. <laughs> Note to self. Let's put a couple of drops there. I drop there. Don't talk with a brush in your mouth, right? All right, so let's put this over here. There we go. Now it's like an olive. Becoming more of what we want, I think, but let's take a dab of this. There we go. That's like a brown, huh? So if we come here and we, um, I don't know what we're going to do. Something, we're even going in there, huh? Then we're going to draw these lines next to them. This one, uh, let's just make these lines going up like this. Now, um, let's come back in here and let's draw, draw paint. Let's change brushes because that brush is way too big, right? And let's come back and let's take this brush, I think. Let's get some water on this puppy. Bring it back to life. It was a bit stiff. If only that's how it worked in real life, right? <laughs> you get, you start to die, put water on him. He'll be fine, right? <laughs> I think the reason I can do live videos is I can talk to myself no problem, right? It doesn't bother me. <laughs> So if we use a small brush, right, and we, 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 we paint gently, it looks like we can get some straight lines. I think also it matters how much water is on the paper, whether this is going to spread out when I paint, right? So if the water is not that spread out uh, or it's the, the paper is not that wet, and I'm going to come back over this with some black Posca probably. We're just trying to get some stuff going on in here. I don't know. I mean, you guys are going to give me feedback. Tell me what you think of all this craziness. And again, this is, a, we're not going for realism here. <laughs> I don't know how to use this well enough to even attempt that. So um, we're going to do this. We're going to take this brown, even though it, was, it wasn't going to be in this leaf, we're going to put it in there huh? because we're bringing stuff together. Maybe a little more here. And there's no rhyme or reason. I'm just like, pa, pa, pa. This two, we're gonna come up here and we're gonna paint some brown splotches in this puppy. I don't know if this is becoming more sunflower-ish, not really, right? But a bit, a bit. I think it will dry cool. There's a lot of uh, abstractness going on. Once we add the highlights, we outline it. The one thing I can see, I don't know how well you guys can see, is the part of the pot that I had raised and I drop it down, oof, does not look so uh, beautiful, you know what I mean? But, you know, so what if we come here and we put some, like, uh, specks, just make it look a little more worn, I guess is the word that I would use, right? Because it's probably the right word, I mean. <laughs> ah, this is one of my issues, right? Is I think I'm hilarious to myself. I, just, I don't even have to make anyone else laugh. I just, I laugh at my own jokes all the time. But I suppose this is why overall I'm usually smiling. <laughs> You're like, what's so funny? You wouldn't find it funny. <laughs> uh, anyway. So let's come here. This is the dark green, right? What if we took this dark green, mixed it here? Huh? Pa 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 cha. Now it's becoming like an olive. What could, let's let's take a little bit of this red and put that in there. There we go. Now we're back to this. Well, it's a dark olive, but that's cool because maybe what we're going to do is just draw some weird squiggly lines in here to, 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 I guess, change the feel. Like I said, make it a little bit more worn. There we go. So this is art. And look at this paper. It is, it is like buckling a bit. huh? So let's clean this brush. 
And let's, what are we going to do? We need yellow up in here. That's why I put this yellow here, huh? So we're going to come here. And I didn't really add, uh, look at that. I didn't really add much water to this. And I guess the reason I want it to be as pigmented as possible, right? And uh, I don't know if that changes. I assume maybe it changes how much it dries. Plus, I have like a big splotch right there. So maybe that's going to change it. But I think what would be cool is we get this. And if it dries very yellow on top of stuff and doesn't, uh, it doesn't darken, like increase its shade, then what we could do is also add specks of white into it. And that would be super cool. Plus, what if we come in here and we go like this, right? These things are still wet. And look what's happening as we draw this out. That looks super nice, huh? You're, you, I swear you guys are going to say that I planned this. I didn't, right? I did not. This is like uh, the way some of you are born, unplanned. You know what I mean? Again, my sense of humor is amazing, at least to myself. <laughs> so here we go. And probably, if you guys watch me, probably one of the reasons you watch me is not just because I know what I'm doing, but my sense of humor, right? I'll make you laugh, I'll teach you stuff, and um, we're going to get along. You and me, right? You and whoever you are. <laughs> Anyways, hey, if you recreate what I'm doing, why don't you put, post a link on YouTube, right? Or wherever you saw it, and uh, tell us, and we'll all go check it out. So... There we go, right? Let's uh, clean this brush off. We're going to put it in here. We didn't end up using a lot of things here, right? And we'll, Anyways, we're not done, but uh, that's okay. We didn't end up using certain things. We're going to let this dry a little bit. In fact, look at this patent pending uh, drying technique I have here. Like, whoosh, 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 whoosh. This is very Bruce Lee entered the dragon drawing technique. Uh, I'm not coining the term or copywriting it. If you guys want to use this move, go ahead. Granted, if this was full of like too much water, look what we just did, right? There was too much here and this happened. And this is a lesson for all of us, right? <laughs> Don't do that stupid ass move. <laughs> Anyways, it's okay that it's shooting out liquid right here because this is like a liquid plant. It, uh, uh, no fucks given. This plant don't care. So we have this. We want black. The black will be the Posca. Maybe what we'll use, because I haven't ever used this gauche yet. Let's use the gauche for some white highlights. And then we will add our, um, and I think you just need a, a smidgen, huh? This stuff is powerful. And this stuff is expensive. I forgot how much this was. 10 euros for this tiny bullshit tube. It's a... Uh, 0.47 US fluid ounces or 14 milliliters, huh? Oof. Anyways, let's find a small brush that's not too frayed. All these brushes, I should take some scissors and trim them just to get them a little more, uh, less frayed, huh? So, we are, like I said, we're going to come back in here and we're going to paint some dots. But before we do that, let's, um, come in here. I don't know what leaf has uh, white painted inside of it, but this one does, right? And that's okay, because we make it up as we go. I saw once uh, one of those Bob Ross uh, like love painting uh, videos or whatever, and <laughs> he's entertaining. I don't think he was he was meaning to be funny, right? In some of his some of the conversations or whatever, uh, but he was and. Uh, <laughs> happy little accents, this and that. And uh, yeah, so hopefully I'm finding ways to be hilarious here in my own way with my own style. And yeah, so we've got that. And uh, let's add some more. Uh, I think adding water to this was a good idea because it, it flows better, right? So let's come over here and let's put some, some of these dots in. This thing is definitely coming to life a little bit. And then maybe even in the petals, right? Little accents. I think this, um, yeah, I don't, I don't think that this is totally dry. Why don't we try something, right? Why don't we take a paper towel? And I'm assuming this may or may not work, right? <laughs> I have no idea. What if we take this? And I think it's important we don't move, right? We just press down over the petal. 
and this maybe will pick up any excess and leave the design, right? I don't think this is an impact problematic. There we go. And it will make it so that when we paint on top of these petals, there's not, I don't want it to be wet. It looks like it, my idea worked, huh? Look at this. Learning things that you're not even sure about. It's good to experiment. Anyways, this is what art's about. For those of you who are watching this because you paint, uh, you do this every day, you know? How do you know? Do you, how do you come up with a technique that other people don't, uh, don't have or don't know, you know? So, I'm going to make some lines here. Maybe this will tie them together because there's different colors on different petals. It's definitely a sexy flower. If I had one of these flowers, right, I think people would want it because look at all these colors going on, right? It's, I, I'm part of this uh, gardening group on Facebook uh, just to ask questions, you know, when something happens to your plants, whatever. And uh, they're always looking for different monstera, mo monstera, monstera, I don't know. It's these big plants, these huge leaves. And if they are, they have this color or that color or whatever, uh, people are like, oh my God, I need it. I want it. I have to have it. And imagine if this was one of them, right? I make tons of money on selling these plants. <laughs> That'd be good. Something would be selling though. That's it. <laughs> All right. So now I think that's, we're, we're almost nearing completion. I don't know how long this video is because I've kind of got lost in, in enjoying playing with watercolors. Um, but we're going to, uh, so my assistant uh, is telling me 37 minutes, huh? Jeez. Anyways, so I think what we're going to do, and I suppose you don't really need to do this, but just to clean it up a bit, I'm going to take this puppy, it's a Posca marker, and I'm going to outline this, huh? Again, you don't have to do it. And I think, though, if you do do it, that you need to make sure um, that the thing is... Uh, that the thing is quite dry, huh? We again next time I will have my heat gun here so that we can dry things and I think this will just clean it up a bit. But sometimes paintings look good without um, dark edges, right? Especially if you're painting the realistic style, which I am not, anyways. And that's not even my cup of tea normally, right? Not because uh, I don't, not because I like painting dark edges, but I like things that are well-defined, easy to see. Uh, I'm a fan of pop art, uh, abstract stuff. Um, I like doing wild experiments, etc., etc. So, anyways, let's just go ahead and finish this uh, off. And here, we're going to go back in there. And maybe... Uh, some lines like that, like that, uh, like that. Come down the side, realizing that we could have done better proportion. <laughs> and like I said, this is uh, episode one live painting, learning watercolor. We are going to learn watercolor together. If you want to stick with me, <laughs> I'm going to learn watercolor. I hope you're there with me through the journey. And um, we're going to make mistakes, I think. And that's actually good, right? Because you learn from your mistakes. And uh, you're also going to catch some achievements. And some things are going to turn out amazing. And to be honest, I'm not hating this. I wasn't sure if I was going to like it earlier. But now I'm starting to like it. And... And let me, and we can talk about it actually when I'm when I finish outlining this with so the things that I like or don't like. One of the things I've noticed with lots of um, watercolor paintings is that they don't they don't worry like whether they put an outline or not. They don't worry about staying in the lines. You know what I mean? And I think um, that's kind of cool, right? And I don't know why I made these perfectly. I think this would be a better, cooler leaf like that, right? Don't know why I made them straight there. But there's no rules. And again, this was just to play. Uh, have fun when you're playing. Try things. Test things. It's the only way that you're going to learn and, and become better, in my opinion. And so 
let's come here uh, and I'm just going to paint around the, what is this center part of a flower called, right? The, the part, this is usually the part that the bees pollinate, right? Do we add some dots here, right? I will set up chat later where I could see what you guys are saying and we can make this more interactive. I didn't do it this time. There's a lot of stuff to remember here, huh? but I'm just going to go ahead and put some dots in here. You guys would have been able to choose. And after I put the dots, I'm like, why did I put the dots? It for sure would have looked better without them. And on that note, I won't touch the pot because I was going to put something in the pot. We'll go ahead and sign this and uh, yeah. And of course, this thing was not flowing. I pressed too hard and the ink just explodes on the D from my name. You know, this is how 2020 has been, right? <laughs> I, I forgot this camera is turned so you could see it right side. I'll go ahead and close this. Let's take the tape off and then wrap this puppy up. If you stuck with me this whole time, I appreciate it. And also, maybe... Oh, I have washi tape also I got because they said that's what you should get because this painter's tape uh, is not kind, it looks like, to this paper. At least it wasn't up there, huh? So as I pulled this off, bada bing, bada boom, I'm going to go ahead and take this part off. And yeah, you can see, I guess washi tape is the way to go because it looks okay here more or less, but it did rip the paper up here. And anyway... Not a bad first try at a watercolor painting, if I do say so myself. It's not amazing. It's not total crap. <laughs> it's got its issues. I definitely like certain things, right? I like down here in the pot, the different, the way the watercolor, different colors work together. I definitely like that. I like here in the petals that had more blue in this. There's like seven, eight, nine, ten different colors going on in this petal. I like that, right? I'm a colorful person. If you follow my art, you know that for sure. But, okay, next uh, episode, I will try to have the live chat set up so I can converse with you. As I'm painting, my assistant will read the live chats, let me know what you guys are talking about, and uh, yeah. And uh, also, uh, I will have a planned idea of what I'm gonna paint. I won't practice it, I will just know what I'm gonna paint. Instead of saying, oh, I'm gonna paint a flower pot or whatever, I'm gonna know, I'm gonna paint uh, Timon from Timon and Puba, or I'm going to paint a T-Rex, or whatever I'm going to paint, I will have it planned, I will have a reference uh, photograph in front of me, and this way I could, and the reason that that's important is not that I can't draw from memory or whatever, is that this way I could be like, oh, you know what, if I paint here first, cool, I leave this part blank because I'm going to do this here, and I could plan it more out more in my head as I'm going, because this, it was just like, okay, let's do a little wash on the background, let's do this, and probably I had already kind of sketch it out so I didn't need to technically paint where the flower was and the pot was with the wash next time right anyways guys I hope you like this uh, this live painting and that you stick with me I promise they're going to get better not just because they're going to be interactive not just because I will for sure get better at watercolor but this whole process it will just keep getting better and better and better and it won't just be watercolor maybe I'll do some abstract stuff whatever Leave some suggestions in the comments of whatever platform you're watching this in. Until next time, I'm out.